Hi, welcome to Easy Payroll Guide. My name is Karen Hutchinson and in this video we're going to talk about how to use the percentage method when you're trying to calculate withholding taxes for your employees. This method can be used to calculate the withholding tax for any employee. It does not matter how many withholding allowances they have chosen or the amount of their wages. So this method can be used at any point. Whenever you are trying to determine withholding taxes, you always need to use the employee's W-4 form. This form will detail all of the information that you need in order to make this calculation. We're going to use um, this fictitious character, John Doe, and this is the same exact example that we used in my previous video, which was on using the wage bracket method. So we're going to use the same two scenarios in order to calculate the same tax, but using the percentage method. John is single, and he claims only one allowance. Remember that this information is filled out by the employee, so this is the information that you must use when calculating their withholding tax. John is paid on a bi-weekly basis, which means that he's paid every other week, and his wages for this pay period are $720. So this is the information that we need to use in order to make the calculation. So the first thing that we need to do, the very first step, now this calculation is a little more complicated, so please follow along with me. The first step is that the IRS in Publication 15 has given us a percentage method table. So these are the amounts for 2014, and these are the amounts for one withholding allowance. And it's broken down by the pay period and then just the withholding allowance. So it doesn't matter at this point how many allowances, it just matters what pay period you're using. So what you want to do is multiply one withholding allowance by the amount and you want to multiply that by the number of withholding allowance that they have claimed. So for example, John is paid on a bi-weekly basis, so we're going to use the second line, which is $151.90. John has only claimed one allowance, so this $151.90 is what we need to use for John. If John had claimed two allowances, then we would multiply this number by two. Okay, so $151.90 times one allowance is $151.90. So this is the number that we are going to use in step two. Okay, so you're going to multiply this number by the number of allowances. Make sure that you pick the right number based on the payroll period. Step two is then to subtract this amount from the employee's wages. So we know that John had made $720 and we're going to subtract $151.90 and that gives us $568.10. So this amount, $568.10, is the amount that we're going to use to go to a set of withholding tables to determine how much tax to withhold. These withholding tables are in publication 15. They are not the same withholding tables that you use for the wage bracket method. Okay, so when you go to publication 15, these withholding tables are um, on pages 43 and 44, and you'll see at the top it will say percentage method tables. So please make sure that you're using the correct table. You'll see that this table is broken out by pay periods. So you'll see weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, monthly. Make sure that you're choosing the correct pay period. It's also set up by single person and married person. So when you find your section of the table for your pay period, if you have a single person, you're going to stay to the left. Married person, you're going to stay to the right. Then what you're going to do is you're going to look at the table, and it will tell you the amount that it's over but not over. So you've got to find where your amount fits in. We are, and I'm just going to go back to this table because it will be easier. Um, we are looking for $568.10. Now we can round that figure to the nearest dollar. So let's say $568. $568, John is paid bi-weekly and he is single. So we are going to be in this section right here. 
and $568 is over 436 but not over 1506 so we're going to be using the second line right here okay now the tricky part is to calculate the tax it tells you that the tax is $34.90 plus 15% of any amount over $436. That's the confusing part. So what you want to do is you want to first find out how much is an excess over $436. So take the 568, subtract 436. So he is $132 over the 436 mark. Okay, so this is the excess amount, $132. That is the amount that we want to multiply by 15%. So we're going to take $132 times 15%. Remember to change a percent to a decimal. You divide by 100. So it's 0.15. So 132 times 0.15 is $19.80. So the tax is $34.90 plus this $19.80. So $34.90 plus $19.80 is $54.70. So $54.70 is the amount that you would withhold from John's paycheck and you would deposit that to the IRS on John's behalf for his withholding taxes. Okay? So that's how you would use this withholding table. It requires a few more calculations. Let's look at another scenario just to give you a little more practice. This example, we're going to deal with Mary. Mary is married and has four allowances on her W-4 form. So we're going to say that Mary gets paid on a semi-monthly basis, which means that she gets paid twice a month, and her wages for this pay period are $2,250. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same process. We're going to start by using the percentage method table to determine the number of um, withholding allowances that we're going to subtract from her pay. So, when we look at the table, we know that she's paid semi-monthly, so we need to go to the third line. One withholding allowance is $164.60, but Mary has claimed four. So you're going to take the $164.60, multiply it by four, and that will give you $658.40. Okay? So now we're going to take this number, $658.40, and we're going to use that in step two. So we're going to subtract this amount from the employee's wages. So the wages were $2,250 minus $658.40 gives us $1,591.60. Okay, this is the magic number that we're now going to take to the withholding tables in publication 15. So in publication 15, we need to go now down to table 3 for semi-monthly because he's paid, she's paid on a different schedule. And she's married, so we're now going to be on the right-hand side of this table. And we are looking at $1,592 because we can round this to the closest dollar. So $1,592 falls between $1,108 and $3,427. So her tax is $75.60 plus 15% on any amount that's over $1,108. So again, our first step is to find the amount over $1,108. So we're going to take 1,592, subtract the 1,108, and that gives us $484. That's over this 1,108. So the $75.60 tax is on this amount, but now we need to find the tax on this amount, which is 15%. So we're going to multiply 484 times 
and that gives us $72.60. So now we know that our tax is $75.60 plus the amount on the excess, which is $72.60, for a total of $148.20. So $148.20 is the amount that you would withhold from Mary's paycheck, and you would pay that to the IRS on her behalf. Okay, so this again was a tutorial on using the percentage method. I hope this helps as you begin to calculate your employees' payroll taxes.